Recently, I was streaming when I came across this website called WeLovePuns.com. Now let me tell you, you might think, oh, it's just gonna be puns, they're, they're gonna be unfunny, but in a funny way. No. No, they're not. So the ones I initially came across while I was streaming was 44 best axe puns that are just excellent. And one thing I kind of noticed with this category is there was sort of a storyline that began to form where I, I quickly realized, wait a minute, these were written by an actual serial killer. So the first part of the story is pun number 15. For many people, throwing axes at animals or plants can be a random axe of violence. Now first of all, I get what the joke is meant to be, I get it's meant to be a random act of violence. But why does it start off with for many people? For, for many people, they don't throw axes at animals. And, and second of all, the, the pun itself, a random act of violence, really? That's the best you could do when it comes to animal abuse, come on. And then we go all the way back to puns number one and two, which kind of work either way, it's, it's interchangeable for the story. Number one, do you know what the trees and people have in common? Both of them always fall down when being hit many times with a shape axe. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Great joke from the Zodiac fucking killer on WeLovePuns.com. I wonder what kind of ad sense she's making from this website. And then we have number two. A man climbs on the tree with his axe. He drops the axe on another man below and says, Oh, I'm really sorry for that. It was just an accident. He's just murdered someone. And he's, he's thinking to himself, Wait a minute, wait a, wait a minute, I have just the pun for this time. And he pulled that one out of the bag, and he was so proud of it. Meanwhile, Joe over in the lumber yard, he, he saw it all happen. He's calling the police right now, which leads us straight into our next one. Number 12. In the court, what would an axe murderer say to the judge? I'm innocent. It was only an... Accident. So at this point, the judge is probably just looking at him, confused as hell as to why he's just made this pun when being accused of murder. Um, but it was pretty funny, so maybe just a fight. Oh, and um, for any of you that aren't really into axe puns, um, don't worry, the website has a wide range, a very wide range of puns, sadly. Now here's a category that I didn't think they would have of 38 nut puns that will cash- That's the wrong type of nut, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've- so I've, I've just- I made the joke there, okay. But I've reread the title now and it says 38 nut puns that will cashew your audience pain tease down. What does that mean? <laughs> What's the joke? So a category that is almost guaranteed to have at least, you know, some good ones is 43 pirate puns that will give your friends a barrel of laughs. <laughs> Number 16. Pirates don't like using the staircase. They get to the top of buildings via elevator. <laughs> Number 22. The most favorite song for pirates is Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Ah! <laughs> That's so funny. That's so hilarious. Good one. <laughs> Number 31, did you know 80% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed? And you can change that right now by just scrolling down. You click on the red subscribe button, make it grey. Maybe if you're feeling a bit spicy, you know, click on the bell, turn on notifications. It's up to you. I can't really control you. <laughs> Number 33, a pirate who has lost an eye is called a plate. knee slapper. A real knee slapper that one was. That was hilarious. Oh, good one. I can't handle any more of these pirate ones. I need to move on. I'm gonna look at one more category and hope that I don't go insane by the end of it. You know what? Let's round it off with possibly the most vague category here. Uh, funny puns, bad puns. Different possible meanings from the same word. Ah, okay, so I see this category actually sort of determines what is funny and what's bad. So I'm glad that this website is the one that's going to tell me what they think is actually funny. I wasn't originally going to get that brain transplant, but I decided to change my mind. That one's okay. That's actually decent. You know, it's better than all the ones we've seen so far.
I was wondering why the ball was getting larger. Then it literally hit me. And then we move on to what they classify as the bad puns, which I don't know how they're distinguishing them and then making this website, but we'll, we'll move on. I don't understand why sun tanning isn't an Olympic sport when they're always trying to get bronze. Wait, that's better than half the ones I've, I've seen. What, what the fuck? I didn't remember how to throw a boomerang, but it came back to me. Wait, no, these are like actually just better than the ones we've seen. What? Oh, and then they even list great puns that just hit the mark. I just looked at the first one on the list. <laughs> Did you know that going vegetarian is a missed steak? <laughs> you get it? It's like it's like mistake, like a, a miss, like an accident. <laughs> you get it? You get it? I know you do. <laughs> My dad got stung by a bee, and the following day, he had hives. What? Anyways, um, I'm starting to actually lose brain cells right now. Uh, so I'm gonna finish up the video here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been kind of different from my usual style of content, but I, I want to branch out. You know, I want to try some new things, see how it goes. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here as well. It helps me out a whole bunch. Um, and please, for the fucking love of God, never, never make me read a pun again in my life. I blame everyone that was over at my stream when I discovered this over at twitch.tv forward slash dogdomain.